Welcome to Cozy Noah Vibes. I'm your host, Noah. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight, we will follow Katie back to her enchanting hometown for a festive night in the snow. Let's begin our story. Please find a comfortable position. Let go of today's worries. And imagine a holiday memory or moment that makes you happy. Whether it's outdoors or indoors, let this memory fill you with warmth. It could be walking through your local town admiring the holiday lights, or being at a family gathering surrounded by the smiles of loved ones. Perhaps it's the moment of exchanging gifts with someone special. Whatever it is, hold on to that sense of joy and warmth for the next few minutes. Let us embark on a peaceful journey into a beautiful night's sleep. Begin to imagine a winter scene, with gentle snowflakes filling the sky and softly covering the streets of Katie's hometown. Our story begins here. Looking through the bright curtains of her front window, Katie felt as though she was inside a giant snow globe Giant snowflakes lazily floated down from the sky, softly forming a white carpet and transforming the entire street's appearance. The rooftops of small houses were covered in a frosting like snow, with blue, white, and yellow houses glistening under the frost. Pumpkin on Katie's porch wore a white hat and a red robin flew past her window, landing on a neighbor's fence, as if to complete the holiday scene officially. It was a perfect night to head into town and watch the holiday parade. Katie felt a thrill of excitement, reminiscent of the magic she felt during the first snowfall as a child, even as an adult. She walked across the wide wood and floor of her cozy home, carefully looking at her go track. Although it was cold, fortunately, it wasn't too cold to enjoy some outdoor holiday fun. She took a bright red wool coat off the hook, feeling the silky lining as she put it on, then chose a warm, plush hat and a matching scarf. She knew she would be grateful for these in a few minutes in the snow. Finally, she put on her favorite knitted gloves, turned around, and looked at herself in the mirror, wrapped up warmly. She smiled and nodded at herself. Before leaving, Katie grabbed her well-used messenger bag, she had a feeling she might pick up some holiday gifts while in town tonight. All the stores would be open late to celebrate the holiday parade and welcome the visitors, flooding Main Street. She slung the bag strap over her shoulder, letting it hang comfortably behind her. Though the bag was empty now, she hoped it wouldn't be for long. She stepped out the front door locking it behind her, enjoying the satisfying click of the lock. She then turned around, looking at the street, and waved to her neighbor, who was fetching the mail. He pulled out as she read in dark green envelopes with golden seals, looking like holiday cards. Katie walked down the street, smiling at the winter wonderland around her, it was her favorite kind of snow, lightened accumulating quickly. The snow had only been falling for a little over an hour, but it had already created a beautiful, serene scene. The nearby street seemed to retreat with Katie's steps, and she focused on the slight crunch of her boots on the sidewalk, as if she really were in a tiny snow globe the world seemed to shrink to just this place. Very peaceful. Katie loved looking at each house in this historic district. 
where homes were often over a hundred years old. The holiday spirit was evident on every corner, and she felt as if she had traveled back to a December of the past. The silence was so pervasive that it was easy to imagine a time without cars. Only homes nestled in a warm embrace of the outside world. She found this thought very comforting. Yards of old trees were draped in twinkling white lights reaching up to the sky. Old-fashioned sleds stood near some front doors, decorated with fresh evergreens on their antique red runners. Most beautifully, Many windows displayed grand Christmas trees adorned with all sorts of ornaments. Some of the largest homes even had more than one tree, each a different evergreen visible from various large windows. One house she passed had a beautiful candelabra in the window. Katie thought about the effort required to put up these decorations, and believe the residents must truly love the holiday season. Before long, Katie was nearing Main Street. While she was reluctant to leave these beautifully decorated homes, the lure of holiday shopping and the parade pulled her forward. She emerged from a side street to see a perfect holiday scene unfolding ahead. All the street ulted were lit and with the short days of December and the overcast sky, twilight had come early. Katie was delighted to see the entire business district sparkling with lights, greenery, and ribbons. Every lamppost had been meticulously decorated. Store owners had framed their windows with miniature lights. There were no cars on the street, as it had been closed off for the upcoming parade. Here and there, people crossed the street, excitedly pointing out various shop windows. Bells echoed along the streets, and people happily entered unexited stores. Many carried bags and beautifully wrapped gifts. Katie walked along the sidewalk, passing a man sitting on a bench with two children, one of whom held a lively puppy. Each child had a giant peppermint lollipop. While their father tried to keep them from spreading the sticky candy everywhere, the puppy waited patiently, its short tail wagging excitedly, as if it believed the lollipops were meant for dogs too. A beautiful window display caught Katie's attention. She passed a shop usually used for seasonal pop-up stores, with displays changing with the months. In summer, someone sold ice cream there, but in December, it showcased stunning glass ornaments. A sparse wooden tree stretched its branches hanging about fifty exquisite glass balls, each with different hand-painted designs, many adorned with gold and silver paint that glistened in the street ulted. Katie was mesmerized, unable to decide which one she liked best. She promised herself she would return on her way home and perhaps buy one but she didn't want to risk carrying something so precious during the parade. Katie continued walking, seeing her reflection passing through shop windows. With streetlety floating like halos behind her, reaching the end of the block, she passed a restaurant where diners were enjoying early dinners before the parade. She looked through the windows, Observing their animated conversations, their coats draped over the back of their chairs, deep inside the restaurant, gentle candlelight flickered on every table. At the corner, Katie stopped to admire the beautiful items in the local fabric shop's window to match the season. 
The mannequins were dressed in various skirts made from soft flannel, all available for purchase inside. Nearby worse ever aprons adorned with cheerful seasonal patterns. One apron had humorous gingerbread men, while another was decorated with whimsical candy canes. These would be perfect for any chef hosting a holiday party, Katie thought. Moving forward, Katie was filled with anticipation. She was nearing the bookstore, a place she loved visiting in any season. The windows were full of new releases and classic bestsellers, both in paperback and hardcover. Pushing open the bookstore door, she was embraced by the store's warmth and the comforting scent of books. The store was bustling tonight, with customers browsing the displays and discussing various books. Katie's eyes were drawn to a new arrival that piqued her interest. She stopped to flip through it for a moment, deciding to buy it as a holiday gift for herself. After spending some time in the bookstore, Katie knew the parade was about to start. She quickly made her purchase and then walked across the street to find a good spot to stand. The street was already filled with people, all eagerly waiting for the parade to begin. As time passed, the street became more and more lively. Katie stood in her spot, feeling the festive atmosphere around her, watching children play happily under the watchful eyes of their parents. Suddenly, music filled the air, and the parade officially began. The parade moved slowly forward, with lights and decorations dazzling the eye. Katie watched as various floats passed by, each one filled with creativity and holiday spirit. Her heart filled with warmth and gratitude for the beautiful holiday experience her small town provided. After the parade ended, Katie returned home. She felt utterly satisfied. Her heart filled with peace and joy. She took off her coat, changed into comfortable home clothes, and sat by the fireplace, reading her new book. The snow outside continued to fall, and she felt a deep sense of tranquility and happiness. As the night wore on, Katie slowly drifted off to sleep in the warm glow of the lamp. She knew that this wonderful holiday night would remain in her memory forever. Thank you for listening to Cozy Noah Vibe's Bedtime Story. I hope you find peace and tranquility in this beautiful story and drift into a sweet dream. Good night.